Davy Jones Lockers, the last word in theft, fire, and grog-resistant storage devices. There's nothing in here but this note. I, the good and honorable storekeeper, do hereby take liability for the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. I don't see anything special about it. to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? How much would you like to spend? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, bankruptcy, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, 
then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Gee, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Gee, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Geez, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Gee, Stan, that does sound useful. And well worth the money, too. That's why it's already included in the price. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? I'd like to pay 2,000 pieces of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm gonna be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great, how much? How does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay, 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that. 
You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try harder than that, buddy. You can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees the ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Actually, I'd like you to squirm a little more. Sure. Hey, that's my job, isn't it? I don't understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 8,500 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know. I'd let you take it out for a little spin around the harbor, but our insurance company won't let us. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5000 And that's my final, final offer. That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know. I'm on your side, buddy. It's my boss that's the real miser. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now where were we? Oh yeah. Maybe you haven't realized the fact that this is the only ship lot on the island. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. That's still not enough money. Inflation works in the other direction, you know. I'm just thinking of my kid's education fund here. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 7,500 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now where were we? Oh yeah. 
Pretty soon you're going to have to make me a serious offer, you know. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,050 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. I sold the ship. Can you believe it? I'm off on a long vacation spending some poor sucker's money. Arrivederci, baby. Stay in. It's just like the one on the other side. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. 
What an idea! Now, if we only had a captain. What about me? Ha! You! <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago! Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. It won't budge. It won't budge. <laughs> I don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do. What well, I never could. <sighs> I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Who want to see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea! Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. It's just like the one on the other side. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken.
Hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. Catch you later. Enjoy. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Otis, I thought I'd never see you again. Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? <laughs> Is it true what I heard about you and the storekeeper? Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we gonna get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh... I'm doomed. It's made. Must be dealer prep. It seems to be locked up tight. It looks like a ballpoint feather pen. I don't see anything special about it.
It looks like an empty chest. 